the day or a day in the life of me being me hey hey what about the fence i'm into myself in my mind not actually talking to anyone the landlady or anyone else but mentioning i found some lumber i'll put this lumber to one side i'm saying right bring it inside property line put it to one side for my landlady nice sweet lady so dropping off the lumber or whatever moments later the landlady comes along and says hey what's that i say it's lumber okay well don't need it why i expect to win the lottery and build a finer fence than the shit you just dragged in and put to one side what shit i say your lumber okay so I take the lumber, put it outside the fence line. Time travels as it does on a daily basis for minutes, seconds, moments, sometimes mostly hours at a time, inconsequentially to a lot of people. Anyway, as time goes by, the lumber sits there and I find a place and time to repurpose that lumber. I build a shed on my own with the aforesaid lumber. Up goes the shed, out comes the landlady. You build shed for Cindy, not for me. I get say inwardly not outwardly because right now i'm pissed i say what you mean about me building shed with lumber that i had allocated to building a fence that you did not want oh she exclaims you build stuff for other people not for me I go, okay, let me go through my notes, which I promptly did. Yes, okay, we've had this conversation before. All right, I am not going to or cannot actually build a shed because you have three already, which I built. But anyway, then she interrupts the conversation. Hey, the trailer is going away. I have to get new shed for cats. Okay. Now, this is where the problem is, see? So, we've got three stray cats living in the back alley, right? I've built nine, like nine places to accommodate them, like nine cat condos, right? Plus the trailer. So now... The trailers be, be like, the trailers going, the trailers going. I'm told, right? Hang on a minute. Winter coming, she says. My landlady. <laughs> well, shit, we all knew that, right? Because that's the time of year. But anyway, so when trailer goes, you say many times, cats were born with fair coats. They don't feel the cold like we do. Oh, I think, okay. Now, I did say that, and I'll say it again, right? Cats and dogs, mostly, are, like, born with... Well, oddly born with them, of course not. I mean, come on now, right? Let's think about it, right? But, because that would hurt, coming out of the veg, that would be, like, unpleasant. But anyway, so, right? I just merely mentioned the fact the cats have got fair coats. They don't give two shits about winter and all that kind of stuff. You can ask my little buddy here. But anyway, right? So, on we go with the conversation, right? So I'm still, I'm getting, I'm getting deeper and deeper into the shit here now. I'm trying not to, trying to compose myself. 
and be the nice guy, right? Which I generally am, I am, right? And it sounds like a, a quote from Edgar Allan Poe, right? And it isn't, right? This is what I go through on a daily basis with my landlady, right? And I don't like it, right? But I love her dearly, I do love her, right? To death. <laughs> But not in that terminology. I don't mean that, right? So, but she's a sweetheart and all that kind of thing. But she gets things mixed up when it comes to landlady to tenant. It's like, there's like a distinction. I don't want to be a friend, right? Don't want to be a relative. I fixed up all your shit in your place, right? For free, by the way. Treat me with some respect and regard. Otherwise, go away. Anyway, it ends the tour of Alan and a day in the life. Good night, good morning, good evening to everyone. Goodbye.